since we've been married for quite some time. Right. Okay, so I'm almost afraid to know what this is. <laughs> this was right around that time we had first started talking to each other and started getting to know each other again. I went to work that day and then some of my colleagues decided we're gonna go have happy hour. Let's go to happy oh, hour. Oh no. And I get a little tipsy. One of my co-workers ended up at my house. <gasps> you are not talking about this. I am. Oh, you're gonna make me mad at you again. <laughs> I end up falling asleep and my phone starts ringing around, what, six o'clock in the morning? I'm not gonna answer this phone at six o'clock. Who in the hell would be calling me at six o'clock in the morning? I don't think about this, you know, give it a second thought. So I go back to sleep. <laughs> Next thing I know, I hear boom, 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 boom on my door. And I walk over to the door. Now mind you, Oh, girl, still in my bed. Wait a minute. We have to back right? up here. Hold on. No, wait, stop. We have to back up here. He got drunk, went to went to a happy hour, yep. brought home a bitch when we were talking and slept with her. She was not my girlfriend. We were talking. We, we hadn't even, classified I, it. Right. But I, I got say, a key. Out all of them, I got stuff over in his apartment. I got stuff in his shower. I got stuff on his on his vanity. I, did I got fuck clothes. Up right there. And I admit to that, I readily admit to the fact that that gave you the impression that we were together. However, in my mind, because we had not made it official, we were not together. Now let me explain the banging on the door, okay? <laughs> and this is how I know God exists. I was living in an apartment where the hot water, heat, hot water heater would always die. That morning, my hot water heater goes out. I have a key. So I go over there and I see that his car is in the car park, but he's not answering my phone calls. So hell yeah, I'm banging on the door. What the hell is going on? This was before caller ID. I wouldn't think that you would be calling my black ass at six o'clock in the damn morning. He comes running out in his underwear, pissed because he saw it was me, yep. and pissed because he just got caught. I was pissed off. Because I did get caught. He did. Because your ass wasn't supposed to come over the house. When you have a key to somebody's house that has a working running water, ladies, what are you gonna do? And especially when you're talking to the dude. I was thinking that you were gonna get up like you normally do, get your shit together, and go to work. This bitch was gonna get out of my house, and I was gonna have enough time to cover this up completely. This is what happens when you're in your 20s, and as a man, you think you got your, an S on your chest, and you think your shit is bulletproof. And that's what I thought. Looking back on it, was it an ignorant move on my part to give you a key? Yes. Did I, did I not apologize? I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> We've been married for 15 years. We got two kids and a mortgage, two cats and a dog. <laughs> you cannot get mad now. Here's a lesson to you young cats out there. Don't send mixed messages. Don't be a man whore. Don't. I prefer the term gentleman of leisure. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. Go. Get. He may be back next week. He may not. <laughs>